and welcome back to my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be this Valentine's Day look. It is a soft and subtle glam, but perfect for Valentine's Day. I feel like it has a very romantic look to it. I can't believe it's already almost Valentine's Day. This year is going by extremely fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not really sure what we're gonna do this Valentine's Day. Last Valentine's Day, my husband surprised me and took me horseback riding, which was so amazing because I've never been and I've always wanted to. So it was like the best surprise ever and I don't know how he's gonna top it this year. I don't know if he can, but he can certainly try. <laughs> Comment below, let me know what you guys are doing on Valentine's Day. I would love to know. And if you're interested in seeing how I got this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going in with the NYX primer that I always use. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with the color Classic from the Tarte Tardis palette and set my primer. Next I'm going to take Whimsy and I am just going to apply that in the crease and blend it upward. Now I'm going in with the MAC Cream Color Base in Fresh Morning. I'm taking a flat shader brush and laying this all over my lid. This is just going to help the next shade be really pigmented. And now I'm going to take MAC's Silly Eyeshadow and just pat that all over where I put that cream color base. So I'm going in with MAC's Pressed Pigment. This one's in Summer Honey and I'm just going to apply that to my inner tear duct. Now I'm going to darken up my crease with the color Dark Side. This is from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I'm just going to focus that on my outer corner and a little bit in the crease. I'm just going to drag it up a little. So I'm going in with that same color and a flat shader brush and I'm just going to pat that on my lid. I'm using this technique so I get more pigment and it's really going to darken up the look. So we're going in with some glitter. This is what this look is all about. It's this beautiful rose gold glitter and this is from NYX. It's their on the go glitter and it is in champagne bubble. We're going to add a little sparkle because we want to sparkle for our boo things. And now we're going in with black heart. This is from the Naked 3 palette which black heart is something I hope no one has on Valentine's Day or ever. So we're just going to pop that on the outer corner. I'm going back in with that Summer Honey Pressed Pigment and I'm brightening up the inner corner and the brow bone. So a quick little tip to clean up any makeup look is to take a makeup wipe and just wipe away any fallout and you can use it to sharpen up that line which is what I'm doing here. Now I'm going in with the Tardis Pay Clean, Pay Clean Liner, I don't know why I can never say that, Clay Paint Liner and I am just going to line my lids and I'm going to line it to the end of my lid but I'm not going to do the wing with this, I'm going to leave it alone and then I'm going to go back in with a felt tip liner and create the wing using that. I just feel like it's easier for me to get more precision. So I'm gonna go in with a Too Faced sketch marker and just create that wing. The lashes I'm using today are the Revlon Beyond Natural Lashes and these are in 91306. So I'm using a precision brush and I'm going to go in with that color Whimsy again from the Tardis palette and just bring that under my lower lash line. Going on to the face, I am using the Rimmel London Match Perfection and I am in the color Soft Beige. I'm just going to apply that all over my face and here I'm using the Real Technique brush and just stippling that on and then blending it out. So I'm going in with my go-to powder. This is the NYX Finishing Powder. I'm just going to put that all over my face with a big fluffy brush. 
So I'm going in with the Illuminating, Illuminating, <laughs> Illuminating Bronzer from Sonia Kashuk. It's in the color Goddess. And who wouldn't want to feel like a goddess on Valentine's Day? We're just going to bronze up this look. I love the way bronze and rose gold look together. So I'm just going to put that. We're going to use the E3 technique. Then we're going to go in with a Milani blush. And this is a Romantic Rose. It's so pretty. And I love how it's, it looks like an actual rose in the pan. So it's really pretty. And it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So now we're going in and we're going to highlight. This is going to help us look like the glowing angel that our boo thing should think we are. And I'm using the Pure Nude Essence Highlighter and this one's in Be My Highlight. It just gives you the perfect natural glow. So that is the finished face, and now it's time for lips. So we're gonna go in with the Essence Lip Liner. This is the color in the nude. So we're just gonna apply that all over our lips and fill them in. Now we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lipstick. This is in I Can Bear It, and it's so beautiful. It has this little bit of shimmer to it, and it's kind of like a gold undertone, so it's perfect for this look. And once we finish up the lips, we are all done. Okay, so this is the finished look. A little bit of rose gold glitter and some dramatic wing to go with it. That little pop and highlight. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.